What's going on YouTube? Let's talk about creating new Active Directory user accounts uh, in bulk. I'll show, I'll show you a couple different ways to do it, or two or three different ways to do it. As always, take it, use it however you want to use it. Uh, you can download the code on the website and customize however you want. So, uh, get started here. We'll do the probably the easiest example. So, we're simply going to define a file variable. We're going to use a CSV file called users2.csv, and this is what that looks like. So all you need to create a user account is a name and a SAM account name. That's it. Uh, so I'm going to import this CSV file. So this would probably be your first step to make sure your file is being imported correctly. So if I highlight that portion, hit the Run Selection, I can see down here that it has properly imported my CSV file. So next thing we're going to do is pipe it for each object and for each object that comes through the pipeline which is this one and this one so Bob Smith and Bob Jones it's going to create a new AD user set the name to Bob Smith and the same account name to Bob.Smith and then move on to the next user. So we'll run this now I didn't specify an OU or a path, so these are all going to go to the default user's container. And there they are. They're disabled as you can see. That's because we didn't set a password. You don't have to set a password to create a user object, however, comma, if you try to enable it, you'll get a password error. So at that point, somebody will have to go in and set the password for each user. So, yay, we created user objects. However, uh, they're really not useful if they're not enabled. So, in order to enable, we can set a, an account password. So, we're going to go up here and define a password variable. So, this is going to be my password for each user that is created. I want to enable it, so we set the enable parameter to true. And if you're storing a password in the actual PowerShell script, like this, at a minimum, you want to make sure it has to be changed at first logon for the user. So in my mind, this is not a preferred method. I don't like storing passwords in PowerShell scripts, even if I'm going to make the user change it at login. So this time we'll set a path and we'll set it to this OU. So each year that's created is going to go on that OU. Okay, no red. So there are two users enabled, so those users can log in. Uh, no problems. So like I said, I don't like housing the password in the actual file, so here is an alternate method to that. All right, so this is my implementation uh, so that you don't have to store passwords. And it also will make you confirm a password to eliminate the whole fat finger problem. So this top portion here is just the getting passwords portion. I won't really go into that, but it works. You can kind of dig around on that if you want. Uh, so basically down here we're setting a couple variables. We're going to import our CSV from that location. We're going to set the password to the results of the function above. Uh, we're going to make sure that if the password is empty, we're going to stop the script so the users aren't created with without a password set. And then the rest of it is pretty much the same as uh, the more the simpler script. I just added a few parameters here, and you can. Uh, dig through the help of new AD user to see all the parameters. So that's pretty much it, but let's take a look at this thing in action. So there it prompts me for the password, so we'll go with the blank password first. So there it died. As you can see there in Active Directory, no users. So let's just mismatching passwords. Passwords don't match, it dies. 
and no users. Now let's actually type a good password. And everything appeared to happen correctly. And there we have Bob Jones and Bob Smith. So that works well. Now there's one uh, bug or circumstance, I guess, that I haven't addressed here. So what if you run this thing and you don't meet the maximum or the password complexity rules set up in Active Directory? So if I just go pass, pass, you'll get this error message telling you that it doesn't meet the password length or complexity uh, policies. But it will still create the users. And but it'll create them disabled. So you somebody have to go in here and uh, set the passwords for these users. Uh, you could probably implement another if statement in here, but it would probably require some kind of regex pattern. So I haven't really dug into that. Maybe I'll do that in the future. But that's pretty much it. That's how I create new AD users. Uh, I hope you found this useful. If you have uh, any questions. Hit me down in the comments. Uh, if you have another method you use to do this, I'd be interested to hear that too. Hit me down in the comments. So thanks for watching. Hey, thank you so much for stopping by the channel and watching the video. I do appreciate it. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. Consider hitting the subscribe button. If you don't like it, give me a thumbs down too. I'm cool with that too. Uh, if you have a question or video request, you can contact me on the social media links below. And again, I appreciate you watching. Thanks.